In this video, we are going to introduce rates. Now, rates are very important and we see them all the time in real life. I actually have a couple of examples here. One is on speed. We say 50 kilometers per hour. Notice that the forward slash is pronounced per. Uh, the next one, when we buy, let's say, fruit from a shop, $3 per kilogram. Rates are used to compare two amounts. So let's look at 50 kilometers an hour. We are comparing the amount of 50 kilometers with one hour of time. When we look at $3 per kilogram, we are once again comparing two amounts. We are com comparing the amount of $3 with the amount of one kilogram. You will notice that when you look at the units on the right side of the forward slash, that they both have an amount of only one, one hour and one kilogram. And if you can remember that, this is the key to working with rates. Let's now move on to example one. It wants us to convert the rates below into the units shown in brackets. So for question A, our rate is $4.50 per kilogram, they want us to convert this to dollars per gram. And we're going to do this using the four boxes, three numbers and two arrows technique. So we'll start by drawing four uh, red boxes here, three and four. And I'm going to write in it $4.50 on the left, so this is my dollars and one kilogram on the right. As I mentioned before, the units on the right side of the forward slash have an amount of one. So that is one kilogram. Now they want us to convert this into dollars per gram, which means that my amount on the right needs to be in grams. How are we going to do that? Well, I know that one kilogram is the same as a thousand grams. So I'm actually going to rub out my one kilogram here and I'm going to replace it with a thousand grams like so. All right. Remembering that the key is to make sure that the units on the right side of the forward slash have an amount of one. So I'm going to convert this 1,000 into 1 by dividing it by 1,000. 1,000 divided 1,000 equals 1, or in this case, 1 gram. Now, because I did that on the right, I need to do that on the left. I've got to divide $4.50 by 1,000, which is actually going to give me a very, very small amount. All right, let's do that now. $4.50 divide 1,000 gives me 0 0.0045. So now finally we can give our solution of $0.0045 per gram. Let's now move on to question B. Once again, we'll start with four boxes. One, two, three, and four. Now you will notice that we have 12 liters per one minute. Remembering that the units after the forward slash have an amount of one, being one minute. We need to convert this into milliliters per minute. Now I know that one litre is the same as 1,000 millilitres, which means that 12 litres must be 12,000 millilitres. So what I'm going to do is I am going to rub out the 12 on the left because I want this to be in millilitres, and I'm going to write it as 12,000. Now, you will notice that we have millilitres, and minutes, which is exactly what we want. And we didn't really need the two boxes below because the units on the right 
have an amount of one still, so we don't have to do anything to it. Our solution is going to be 12,000 milliliters per minute. Now let's move on to question C. We'll start again with our four boxes. One, two, three, and four. Let's split this in two. We have 85 kilometers on the left and one hour on the right. Remembering that anything after the forward slash has an amount of one. This time we have to change both units. We have to change the kilometers to meters and we have to change the hours into seconds. We'll start by converting our kilometers into meters. 85 kilometers is the same as 85,000 meters. So we'll change that. M for meters, and we just got to put three zeros after it. 85,000 meters. Now we need to convert one hour into seconds. So I'll rub my H out for hours and change it to S for seconds. And if it's one hour, I can times it by 60 twice and it will give me the seconds. Now this equals 3,600 seconds. So let's write that down below. 3,600. Now all we need to do is convert the amount on the right to an amount of 1. And we'll do this by dividing it by itself, by 3,600. And we'll do it on both sides. Three, divide 3,600. So what do we get? 85,000 divide 3,600 equals 23.6 if I do it to one decimal place. 23.6, which gives us our solution of 23.6 meters per second. That concludes our video introducing rates. Remember to read the description below for a theory booklet that relates to this example.